This is a timeline of Faroese history comprising important legal and territorial changes and political events in Iceland and its predecessor states. To read about the background to these events, see History of the Faroe Islands. Topic: 7th century. About 625 it was thought Irish monks settled in the Faroe Islands and were the first people there. In earlier historical studies, it was assumed, that they came around 725. After botanical researches it had to be dated back to 675, and today Faroese scientists believe, that oats have been cultivated on the Faroes since about 625, for example in Mykines. Eighth century About 795 Irish monks reach Iceland. It is suggested, that they came from the Faroes after banished by the Vikings. Diusel refers to it 825, but maybe some of the monks stayed in the Faroes. Ninth century About 825 Grimmer Camban is said to be the first Norse settler in the Faroes at the place, which is named Funningor the Find. About 885 to 890 second wave of immigration to the Faroes under King Harald Harfager of Norway. Most of the settlers come from western Norway, but also many from Ireland and Scotland. Topic: 10th century. Around 900 the Faroese Althing is assumed to be founded. If this is true, it is the oldest existing parliament of the world. Around 970 the Faroeinga saga starts with its main story. The murder of Brestir and Boehner is assumed to have happened in 969. 983 Return of Sigmunder Brestison. 999 the Faroese Althing adopts Christianity against Tron's resistance. Topic: 11th century. 1005 Sigmundur Brestesson is killed by Torgrimur Illy in Sandvik. 1026 King Olaf II of Norway tries to encash taxes from the Faroes and to establish Norwegian law, but fails. 1028 The murder of the Norwegian legate Karl of Moor ends Olaf's attempts. 1035 Death of Trondur I Gotu, the last Viking chieftain of the Faroes. Leivor Osersen becomes Christian autocrat over the Faroes as feud under Norwegian government. The Viking Age on the Faroes is over. Topic: 12th century. Around 1100, the Faroes become the diocese of the Faroe Islands, initially suffragan to the Archbishopric of Hamburg-Bremen. The Faroese bishop has his seat in Kirkjebær until 1538. Around 1104 the diocese comes under the Archbishopric of Lund, today Sweden. 1152-53 the diocese becomes part of the Archbishopric in Nidaros, Norway. 1156 Svir comes to the Faroes in the age of five for further education in Kirkjebær. He returns to Norway in 1176 and becomes king there. Topic. 13th century About 1200 slavery on the Faroes is abolished by King Svir 1269 Bishop Erlendor from Bergen becomes bishop in the Faroes 1271 King Magnus Lagabot of Norway established the Elder Gulatingslag on the Faroes the Faroese Althing changes from a legislative into a consultative body. 1274 76 The younger Gulatingslag was adopted. 1280 The Hereford map is the first known map, which mentions the Faroes, as Faroe. 1290 The Hanseatic League is forbidden to trade with the Faroes. 1298 The Sheep Letter becomes law. Obviously the slavery is reintroduced, for the sheep letter regulates, among other things, the exposure to slaves. 14th century 
Around 1300 beginning of the construction of the St. Magnus Cathedral in Kirkjabur. It was never finished, but is still the main historical building of the country. 1302 The prohibition against the Hanseatic League is renewed by Norway. Around 1303 Bishop Erlendor is forced to leave the Pharaohs. Around 1349 the Black Death reaches the Pharaohs, a third of the population estimated at least 1,000 of 3,000 dies. 1350 The Dog Letter becomes law. 1361 The Hanseatic trade is legalized under the same conditions as of the business people from Bergen. 1397 Within the Kalmar Union, the pharaohs remain under Norway's rule. Topic: 15th century. Around 1400, the Althing is renamed into Logting. This name is still in use today. Around 1447 attempts by the Bishop Goswin of Iceland, to get the pharaohs under his diocese, fail. 1490 Dutch tradesmen get the same privileges in the pharaoh business as the Hanseatic League. Topic: 16th century Since around 1500 the pharaohs are exposed to pirate raids from the British Isles and western France, later also Barbary then a vassal of the Ottoman Empire. Around 1520 Joachim Wollewefer from Hamburg becomes reeve over the pharaohs on behalf of King Christian II of Denmark. 1524 After going into exile, Christian II offers the pharaohs and Iceland to Henry VIII of England as collateral for a loan. Henry denies. Historians believe this saved the two countries from losing their languages, as it happened with the Norn language in Shetland and Orkney. 1540 Land which belonged to the church now became property of the Danish king Kongsjör. The land was leased by Faroese peasants. Topic: 17th century. Since around 1600 the Faroese language can be distinguished as a separate language. Topic: 18th century 1709 The Royal Danish Trade Monopoly is founded 1720 The Faroe Islands become a county of Denmark 1724 The Faroe Islands detach from rule of Denmark 19th century 1816 The Parliament is discarded. Since 1709 only one store was in the Faroe Islands, it was located in Torshavn and belonged to the Royal Danish Trade Monopoly, nobody else was allowed to trade in the Faroes. In the 30s three stores which belonged to or were under control of the Royal Danish Trade Monopoly opened in the villages Vestmana, Tverøyri and Klaxvik. 1852 The Parliament is re-established. 1856 – The Danish royal trade monopoly ceases. 1888 – The Christmas meeting Jolifunderen, the start of a cultural movement and indirectly the start of modern Faroese politics. 1889 – In March a play was performed in Faroese language for the first time. The play was called Verfost it means something like, got stuck due to bad weather and was written by Susanna Helena Peterson. 1894 – The Industrial Revolution reaches the Faroes, with the arrival of commercial whaling. The first actual factory is built at Januari in 1901. 1899 – On 5 November the Furya Fokahaskuli Faroese Folk High School was founded in Klaxvik. Here the Faroese people could learn how to read and write in Faroese language, which they could not in the public schools, where Danish was the only language teachers were all up to use. Ten years later the school was moved to Torshavn. 20th century 1906 – The political party Sambandsflokkuren was founded. 1906 – The political party Schalvstyrisflokkuren was founded. 1919 – The flag of the Faroe Islands is created by Faroese students in Copenhagen, it was raised in the village Famgen later the same year. 1938 Faroese language is now allowed as teaching language in the Faroese schools. 
1939 Faroese language is now allowed to use in the churches of the Faroes Fokakirkjan, State Church. 1940 the 13th of April the British occupation of the Faroe Islands starts lasting until 1945 1940 April flag of the Faroe Islands officially recognized by the British government 1946 September a referendum on either a proposal of self-government or independence results in a small majority for independence 1948 April the Home Rule Act comes into power giving the Faroes a degree of autonomy 1953 – The Constitution of Denmark all of the Faroe Islands as well as Greenland two members in the Danish Parliament. 1957 – On 6 February Utvarp for Ja started to broadcast Faroese radio. 1988 – The Faroe Islands became a member of FIFA. 1989 – Faroe Islands as host for the Island Games. 6 October 1992 The bank Chauvinubanken declares bankruptcy and this starts off the worst economic depression in Faroese history. Topic: 21st century. 2005 The Takeover Act of the 24th of June 2005 which is an extension to the Self-Governing Act of 1948, grants the Faroe Islands extended self-rule. The Constitution of Denmark 1953, the Self-Governing Act 1948, and the Takeover Act 2005 make up the legal rights of the Faroe Islands within the Danish realm. 2007 The Faroese government took over the responsibilities of the only airport in the Faroe Islands, Vega Flaghaven. Until this day the airport was run by Danish authorities 2007 The Faroese government took over the responsibilities of the Faroese Church which until then had been Danish. 2013 In July 2013 the EU imposed sanctions to the Faroe Islands due to a dispute over the fishing quota of herring and mackerel. The boycott started on the 28th of August 2013. The boycott implies that Faroese vessels carrying herring or mackerel are banned from all EU ports, including Denmark, Sweden and Finland. The Faroe Islands can no longer export herring or mackerel to EU countries as long the boycott persists. Topic: See also Timeline of Icelandic history Timeline of Swedish history